Hey, just want to give like a little update on this uh this thing right here. I've been without it for a little bit. Um first of all, um I had a little blowout and it actually happened on yeah, it was this one right here. So I went and changed all four tires. Right now I bought these tires just to try try them out. Um I had planned on getting some continental tires like I originally had. And I probably will let these hosts this set wears out. But I just want to try it first and I don't want to, I didn't want to jump in too big without it. Well, jump in with a fat size or whatever and be in too much. So... Uh, let's see here. These are, oh yeah, I think, uh, what's the, what's the guy's name? Matt Armstrong. I thank him for, uh, I watched his, uh, Bentley video. And so I copied his size. Uh, was it? It's 295, 25, R22s all the way around. And they fit, but that's like this much room. And I mean this much room from, from rubbing, but there's no rub at all. Uh, Let's see here. After that, I had an issue with the. I had an issue with a, a sensor. I wanted to get the ABS pump rebuilt, but nobody wanted to touch it. And we had a hard time in the shop. We had a hard time. And it ended up being a little pressure sensor that's on the ABS module that was the problem. Uh, look, it, it's expensive, it's a little $300 part. But we ended up getting it fixed. Let's see if I can open this. I don't even think y'all can see back there. Let me see if I can get it to where y'all can see back there. And let's see, because the ABS pump is buried back here. Ah, uh, they got this thing tightened down. Yep. But just believe me, it was a sensor that is a sensor that's on the ABS pump. Um let's see here. Um Oh yeah, our little blue hose fix. It's still going well. Um, I haven't touched that one yet, but I might have. To, I might do it soon. I might do it soon because uh, something tells me I need to go ahead and do that one. But but so far these hoses are awesome. Like no problems. And then our little uh, our little fix for the uh, for the PCV. Perfect. Um, yeah, I just took this thing on. I just drove this from uh, here in Chattanooga. Drove it to drove uh, drove it to Mississippi for Thanksgiving and came back. Not a single hitch. No problems. Um, I also got a line. Um, I do say I was gonna do a review on them uh, on them tires. I do say the tires were good. Um, the tires were good. Um, I actually looked for those same Milestar tires in the uh, 295 size, but I could not find them at all. So I went with these uh, cheapos. Was it Atlas or something like that? They okay. Uh, they okay. Would I buy them again? Probably not. Um, I do say with the 295s, the ride is a the ride is a lot smoother. I'm not gonna lie to you. I probably should have got this size to begin with, but you know, I was going for cool instead of practical. And you know, it's actually uh, it's actually a little bit better. Um, I think actually I can drop it a little bit more, which I probably might do. And I did, uh, I did the smart thing since I'm gonna be fooling with this car for a while. Um, I bought the, uh, I bought the Firestone uh, <laughs> lifetime, lifetime, uh, what you call it, alignment, and I've already used it twice. So <laughs> uh, twice in three months. So, but uh, it's a little dirty, I know. Um, it's getting washed in a couple of days. 
I don't do the washing because it's too cold. Um, probably get dropped a little bit more. Um, but this is probably going to be my daily driver. Uh, um, the truck, it's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Um, it's going to hit 200,000 miles soon. But yeah, just, a little, uh, just a little update on this thing. Um, I know before I was saying I was going to get this, uh, I was going to get it rebuilt, but couldn't find nobody to get it rebuilt. And, you know, the people I took, take the car with for the stuff I can't do in my, do in my yard, they, they know their stuff. So I say, uh, German auto house, they, they got a thumbs up. Like it is what it is. Um, All right, I'm finna end this because it's a little bit long in the tube, but I just wanted to get like an update video on, what's, on what changed. And the main thing that's changed is, is just the, uh, has, oh yeah, see, no check engine lights. Before I had the uh, ABS light, it was the ABS light and the traction light on, but now everything's fine. And no, no check engine light no more, so. That was with our PCV problem. So pretty much uh, one of the few VWs with no check engine lights. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's pretty cool. Um, I say uh, say uh, I'm I'm gonna keep this for the long run. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I was considering getting rid of it, but it's easy. It's easy enough to fix compared to today's cars. Um. Is built better than today's car. It's like, see, I can do this, like, like, uh, what's my? I forgot the other YouTube I watch. He does this to all the cars or whatever, and it has creeps. Like he punches this all day and stuff. I'm, a, I'm a fan of his. I subscribe to his channel actually. He, he, he does a killer job, and talk about quality, yeah. I say these are pretty are pretty average. Well, they're above average in quality, and they put together real well too. So you're not gonna find too many cars today that's put together too well. But I am looking for another one. I ain't gonna say what it is yet. Um, but I am looking at I am looking at another one. Actually, two. Actually, I'm just trying to decide between the two. And if both of them be something I uh, customize and have fun with too. Um, yeah, this is on this spot as in, uh, it'll be in the stable probably, probably for a long, for the long term. And plus it only got, well, I got it with 82,000 miles. Um, not even two years. Was it, hasn't been two years already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about two years. And uh, it was 82 something. As you see, I put 25,000 miles on it real quick. So, yeah, I don't let it sit. I know I could have sold it, and I see they trading hands for a lot of money and not maintained, apparently. I maintain mine, <laughs> and I probably could get, like, maybe uh, maybe uh, close to 20,000 now with this market, but <laughs> what I'm going to replace it with, like... Like I, I can't, I can't replace it. Like everything works. Like, see, I can, I can do this. AC works. Let me get it to where the vents open. I think it's this one. See, all my vents open. So it's like, hey, like, why would you do that? Like, why would you get rid of something like this? So. That's my opinion, but let me stop rambling and get off the camera. Yes, I need to brush my hair. I know, I know, I know. But, alright, I will give another update video on the truck and probably like a few days. I need to, I need to drive it around a little bit. I've been in this trying to get the lights to come back on and it refuses to come back on after at the weeks and over a thousand miles of driving so 
I, I would say the fix is good. <laughs> All right, it's 10 minutes. I, I'm out. It's too long.